here comes our ceiling. It looks so pretty. Sorry. It looks so pretty. My goodness. Damn. She looks so pretty. This is going to be our ceiling. It's going to look so nice. Look at this. How excited are you, Shane? Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you. How excited are you? Going cool. All right, guys, we have the bus back from spray foam. Just kidding. When we got spray foam, we had to scrape it. We're s we still have some left, but it still looks pretty good. We got our ceiling. We got the blue pine for our also ceiling, called also called beetle kill, beetle kill pine, blue beetle kill pine. This is just some pine, 16 foot. It's gonna go on top of our deck around the outside and then our solar panels we have four that are 410 what is shane looking at he's so focused what is he focusing on so this is what the wood looks like before you use shellac we still have a ton over here but this is what I've set up. And then I just put some stuff on the ground. Sweet. It's gonna look awesome. So these are all natural staining from mold, which Shane just informed me. But they also come from the beetles that infect the trees. And then the trees die, and then it ultimately stains the trees all these different colors which is super super cool unique anyway so before we have to put them on the ceiling we're gonna seal them in and we're gonna um, seal and like stain them but we're gonna be using something called shellac 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 you could use varnish don't use anything oil based but we're using shellac because that's really good before I have to do that I'm using um, sander 220 grit we're using that sanding them all and then we're using shellac That's spray foam insulation that Shane's been spraying and it's kind of just gooping down. Oh man, it almost fell on me. Okay guys, make sure in between using the shellac, you're gonna sand all of the boards as well as wiping them down with a microfiber towel. And then we did a total of three coats. So, coat, sand, microfiber towel, coat, repeat. The last coat that we're gonna do on these guys should be super shiny.
So even though these are all from the factory, none of them are ever square. Make sure you square them all off. Hit them every time on each end. Just cut, cut the little heel off. It'll save you a whole lot of headache in the end. Lights. Buy yourself one of these. It'll help you test everything. What is it? Adapters for battery. That'll let you plug in the wires. There's a fuse on it, so it shorts out. As soon as you hit that wire, it's on and off. It'll give you power to that just by plugging it into any Milwaukee battery. They come to Walt, they come right over here, they come to all of them. Plug right into a battery, though, and it'll let you table test things. Has a quick flip on it, too. Quick snap for all your wires. It's a nice piece of tool.